After you've signed in, go to the City Engine um, file, get map data. Oh, it's asking me to sign in again. And um, you'll have access to uh, where you can actually select um, your area of interest um, and it'll bring in imagery and terrain data. So I am interested in the Woodlawn Chicago area. Okay, and it zooms in to where it thinks is Woodlawn Chicago. So let's highlight that area a little bit more carefully. So I'm going to select this tool here. Okay. So this tool here is so that I can kind of pan around and then this tool is the actual grabber. This is how you select the neighborhood that you want to be in. And so um, I draw a rectangle over um, an area that covers um, the Woodlawn neighborhood. And you can actually download um, uh, um, op uh, open, uh, well, not open Philly. You can download, um, you know, public access data sets, open street map data, um, such as like um, the roads and, and polygons that um, represent buildings and things like that. Um, so, but for this purpose, we just really want the terrain because we're going to align features to the terrain. So we select OK. It takes a little while to download the data. It's downloading um, elevation data and imagery data. Great. Now I have my terrain in my model. So it, it just looks like imagery um, because this area is relatively flat. It's kind of hard to tell that there actually is elevation data. So basically what this is, it's a raster data set, so imagery data set, um, but every single pixel has not only RGB um, values, um, uh, uh, values, but it also color values. It also has height data. Um, so for every pixel, we know how many feet above uh, sea level it is. So then we drag in the data, which you will receive by email. And we're dragging in the SHP file. So that's the tile and the building footprints. We select what we brought in, you can't really see it because it came in um, below the terrain. But if you turn your terrain off, you'll see it there. So select those layers, go to shapes, and align. Oh, let me refresh my workspace. Okay. So select them. I guess when I turn my, okay, so basically when I, every time you click in here, it unselects anything you have selected. So I used my orbit tool to look underneath my terrain and I selected my shapes again and uh, go to shapes and align shapes to the terrain. And it's the satellite terrain that we brought in. Currently it's at the Y equals zero. We want to change it to satellite terrain. Click finish and now it is aligned to our terrain.